Hi, my name is Dr. Lindsay Kibler from Strohecker Vision Care, and today I'm going to be talking about flashes and floaters. Do you ever see any little spots or squiggles in your vision, or do you ever see any flashes of light off to the side of your vision? This is what we call flashes and floaters. 70% of the population experience flashes, floaters, or both at some point through their life. Flashes and floaters are all part of the normal aging process. What happens is the, the eye is filled with a jelly-like substance called vitreous. This vitreous is made up of proteins. The proteins can um, come together and form clumps or strands that float around in the jelly part of your eye. As light comes in your eye, it, it casts a shadow on the back of your retina, and the shadow of the clumps and strands is what you see as floaters. A lot of times you can't focus on them. You go to look at them and they move around. This is all normal. Even people in their 20s and 30s can experience these types of floaters. Another type of floater is caused by a blood vessel that will break in your eye. If a blood vessel breaks because the walls are weakened, this can cause a bleed, and this type of floater will appear as more of a cloud in your vision. Sometimes you can see little spots or, or what people describe as gnats in the cloud. This type of floater will eventually go away, unlike the other type of floater, um, but it's still important to get evaluated by your eye care provider because um, you may have something going on. A lot of times people with diabetes or high blood pressure, or other systemic issues, may have weakened blood vessels and that's what causes these floaters. So it's important to get a complete eye exam. A third type of floater is caused by what we call a posterior vitreous detachment. What this is, is it's part of the normal aging process. As you get older, the jelly part of your eye changes consistency. It'll start to shrink and clump towards the center of the eye. And as it does this, it'll tug on the retina. Any sort of tugging or rubbing of the vitreous on the retina will cause flashes of light. This is what you see off to the side of your vision. And as it's tugging, we want to make sure that it doesn't tug and cause a hole or a tear in the retina. There's a membrane that attaches this jelly to the back of the eye, and this membrane will eventually detach off the retina, and this is all normal. You'll see this is a big, large floater in your vision, what people describe as a cobweb or a, or a bug. That's okay, we just want to make sure that it hasn't caused a hole or a tear. If it's caused a hole or a tear, it's important to see an ophthalmologist right away to get this taken care of so that it doesn't lead to a detachment. A retinal detachment is a much more serious issue that needs to be fixed immediately so it doesn't cause permanent vision loss. This whole process of the um, vitreous detaching from the retina can take several weeks. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you come back in four to six weeks. At that time, we're going to dilate your eyes again and just make sure that the whole process of this vitreous detaching is complete and it hasn't caused any holes or tears. I hope you feel more educated about flashes and floaters. And remember, if you experience any of the symptoms that I talked about today, it's important to get evaluated right away by your eye care provider.